We are predominantly cropping. We run a base range of cereal crops, wheat, barley, ryegrass, peas. We have around 120, 130 hectares of vegetable crops. And they're what we call the lotto crops. They're the crops that are not quite so risk free. And we do try and take a risk where we can because 70 to 80% of the time it does pay off. We're now running GPS and auto steel on our machinery. We've got variable rate irrigation on one of our pivots and we've got plans to put it on more in the future. That variable rate irrigation is coupled with a storage pond as well. Half of that pivot waters very heavy peat ground that's had drainage through it but still it doesn't require a lot of water and the other half of it is very stony Balmoral soil It's very very free draining. And so where the pivot's doing 72 litres a second out one side it's doing 22 litres a second out the other side and so the pond actually acts as more of a buffer it makes it very very efficient on water which is great. We're also doing variable rate in fertilizer with end sensors on the roof of the tractor and so as the tractor is driving along it's sensing the chlorophyll levels within the plant and it's using infrared and NWI imagery to adjust the spread of the spreader as we're going in real time. Previously to this we were doing it from satellite imagery and getting data maps downloaded off satellite and putting them into the tractor and spreading with them but because of the cloud cover we get in Canterbury uh, we weren't getting the efficiency we needed to. This was just the next step. It's incredible the variation in paddocks and we've saved massive amounts just on our end fertiliser this year alone. And going forward also we're now doing variable rate pH, phosphate and potassium as well. There's going to be a lot more variable rate going around the farm, a lot more grid soil sampling as well to try and just ascertain exactly where our nutrient levels are in our soil and just try and tailor the nutrients to exactly what is required. We're trying to get it as precise as we possibly can. We've got the gear to do it now, finally. Now we can actually really jump on board and be as efficient as we can.